discussing the rights of God, and the first right was that God should be worshipped. Yeah. Do you feel that the Muslim community rather worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of fear of punishment and fear of hell? I think many of us worship God <laughs> out of fear of hell and punishment. You can't deny it. I think mm. first we worship God out of fear of our mom's slippers. <laughs> you know? <laughs> there, are some, there are some who worship God because you know you're getting a licking <laughs> if you're not reading your prayer yeah. or you're not fasting in Ramadan or you're not doing this or you're not doing yeah. that. So at the beginning I would say that a lot of us, our worship of God was more out of fear of Mm -hmm. And ultimately the fear of hell. Yes. But as I said, that's at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, describes this in the most wonderful way. He says, Oh God, I do not worship you out of fear of hell. Mm -hmm. For that's the worship of a slave. slave yes. Nor do I worship you because I want heaven. Mm -hmm. That's the worship of a businessman. Businessman, yes. I worship you rather because I found you worthy of being worshipped. That's the worship of a free Please human being. being. Those three lines summarize the essence and meaning and philosophy of ibadah, mm -hmm. of worship. When Imam Zain al says the first right of God mm -hmm. is that you worship him. him. My lowest level of worship, and it's not one to be underestimated, mm -hmm. it's not... Something negative, but it's a start. Yes. My lowest level of worship highlights my lowest level of understanding. And that okay. is, God punishes those who have been unjust, who have been yes. oppressive. Okay, I'm going to pray because I'm scared of hell. Mm -hmm. Imam Ali Nabi Talib says, I don't worship you out of fear of hell, mm -hmm. for that's the worship of a slave. Okay. Yes. The second level of some of our worship, what mm -hmm. does he say? Nor do I worship you because I want heaven. That's the worship of a businessman. I guarantee you that there are a lot of people out there who think that their duty to Allah is to worship him. Why? Because if I worship Allah, Allah will give me heaven. Mm -hmm. How many times do you hear about these uh, suicide bombers? The 72 virgins, yeah. 72 <laughs> virgins. And that if I worship God... God's going to, you know, uh, I'm going to have breakfast with the Holy Prophet, peace be yes. uh, upon him and his family. And God's going to give me rivers and he's going to give me lakes and he's going to, and he's going to, and he's going to, and he's going to. Their relationship, when it came to worship, they had mm -hmm. missed the meaning of worshipping Allah as our responsibility mm -hmm. to Allah and Allah's right over us. I don't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because I want heaven. Yes. Because that's the worship of a businessman. Mm -hmm. You see, there are certain people, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch, scratch yours. yours. You yes. do me a favor, I'll do you a favor. Mm -hmm. Some people, you'll only attend their house because in the same way that you've gone to their residence, they hope they come back to yours. Mm -hmm. Some will only invite you to a gathering because they'll think that one day you'll invite them to a gathering. gathering. Some of us will only build relationships in the community with those who suit our financial benefit. benefit. 